I've been thinking about DC lugs and 12 volt systems and why we're getting heat sometimes around things like disconnects and other areas where there's connections that maybe aren't perfect. And I discovered something and I want you to uh, take a look at it and tell me what you think. So I've got a couple of four out lugs here and we always say to not um, seat things on the back side here, like with the contact with this surface, because it's not very good. I mean, you can see with the letter stamping in there and it just doesn't look very smooth versus this side is much more smooth, right? But I just got to thinking one time, I was like, well, how smooth is it? And the results may surprise you. Let's take a look here. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a little bit of this permanent marker and I'm gonna use this as kind of an indicator here. I'm gonna do this with a number of these. So now what I'm gonna do is take a file and just go across these. Actually, that one's not that bad. <clears throat> that one's actually pretty flat. All right, let's try another one. That one is not so hot. So if we're, I am starting to fill up the holes in there. I usually, when I'm doing this lately, I uh, put some kind of lubricant on there to help carry away these filings. But you can kind of see what's going on there. Let's try this one. Yeah. So you can see the contact patch is not all that great. I mean, pretty much just where we're getting copper is where we're getting contact on our terminals. So if you've got a disconnect, something like this, right? And we're putting that, well, that one doesn't go on there. This is what I'm gonna need. This one on there. Well, we're only getting contact on just two different parts of that. I'm starting to wonder if that's why sometimes these are burning up on people. You can look online, um, disconnects, I would say, are one of the most dangerous things that can that you can have in your system. Uh, you've got to make sure this connection is good. And I'm wondering if this is a part of it. Uh, now, we've been using the 600 amp disconnects, which use this style of lug. So let's see what happens on this one. That's actually, that one's not so bad. Oh, I didn't even do that one. Here, let's, let's check this one too. All right, this right here is very indicative of what I was seeing earlier, where you just get this ring around there. Now it's possible the fastener pushing down here does deform the copper a little bit, but I'm not so sure. Um, when we're talking about 100, 150, 200, or 250 amps flowing through these for a half hour to an hour or more. Or, you know, if you got two inverters, uh, you could easily be pulling two, or pulling or pushing, you know, 200 amps through these four out lugs, and you could be getting heat through here, and this could be why on, well, you shouldn't be. We only do these on, uh, actually, we don't even put four out on these anymore, but, any kind of connection, this could be why we're getting heat. So I'll show you what I do to... So we've actually started doing this on all of our main connections. We don't worry about on our battery paralleling connections so much because there's a lot more wiggle room there because when we do our battery paralleling, well, I'll show you here. So we've actually started doing this on all of our main connections. We don't worry about on our battery paralleling connections so much because there's a lot more wiggle room there because when we do our battery paralleling, well, I'll show you here. So this is how the lugs on a battery terminal would be arranged uh, with the load on this side and this going to the other negative post on the battery. The reason why I like to do it this way is because 
Well, we've got the negative of this battery feeding from this side of the lug, and now we've got the negative from the other side of the battery feeding here on this side. So it's kind of sandwiched between there. We're not relying versus this way, we'd be relying on it passing through from the terminal to this lug to this lug, and then to go out. So that's why I don't worry about it quite as much on the parallel uh, connections. So let's go ahead and take care of this one. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Is that one of the... Yeah, let's do this one. So what I do is spray it with a little, use WD-40 something, and it's gonna take off a lot of that stuff. You can either use a combination of a file, or I've got a, uh, so that's working pretty good, although it's, you kind of got to look at the, you can kind of see the sheen there. See how it's, you got to kind of look at that a little bit. But I've also been playing around with using this guy. This is a uh, diamond uh, sharpening stone thing. Start on the 400 one. And you can feel it really taking the material off. See how much is taken off there, so that's why I got to put a little bit more of some kind of lubricant on there. It's getting better. Now we could, I guess we could keep going to try and let's see how far we got to go to get. Oh, that one. So you can see there, that is getting pretty flat. We still got. A spot here on the top but for the sake of your time and mine we're not gonna worry about that so now I'm going to the oh I sprayed it on the well whatever we're gonna go to the 600 side now you could probably you can get these up to a thousand or two thousand we're trying to get this surface as flat as possible and free of scratches as possible so that is pretty good I mean, like I said, we still got that there, but if we had more time, I'd go after it a little bit more. But uh, this is what we've been doing with all of our lugs that end up going on fuses, uh, disconnects, anything where the connection has to be perfect or as perfect as possible. We've been doing this now because, as you can see, they are not perfect coming out of the stamping or molds or whatever. I think it's like a stamping press thing. So uh, not to give you more anxiety, but uh, if you're doing, especially doing a 12 volt system using four out cabling, you really need to do this. So I didn't mean to give you one more thing to be uh, anxious about or have anxiety about, but it's definitely something you want to keep in mind. Uh, heat is the enemy. Uh, we've got to keep our connections cool and safe. Uh, fuses don't protect us when uh, connections aren't good. So um, uh, appreciate you watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any, uh, ideas or other things to add, anything we missed. Love to hear about it. Uh, check us out at sodasolar.com, S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R. And, uh, we'd love to hear from you or see if we can help you out. All right. Thanks. Bye.